If you take a close look at a peregrine falcon, you'll notice a small structure in their nares. When we look at this American kestrel, it has the same thing. In fact, all birds in the family Falconidae have this feature. That includes falcons and caracaras around the world. This bony tubercle has an important function and is known as a nasal cone. Peregrine falcons dive at around 200 miles per hour, which makes breathing difficult or even impossible. Nasal cones act as a baffle, regulating air coming into the respiratory system during high-speed dives. That's the short answer, but how exactly does it work? You might think that fast-moving air is moving at high pressure and it's rushing into the nares, and that's what makes it difficult to breathe, right? Not exactly. First, the air outside of us is always higher pressure than what's in our lungs. Second, as air speeds up, its pressure goes down. And third, energy always moves in the direction of high concentration to low concentration. This means that when the peregrine is diving, the high-speed air is actually low in pressure and at some point approaches an equilibrium with the air pressure inside the lungs. And that's why it's difficult to breathe. The nasal cones slow down the air, thus increasing the air pressure and allowing air to be drawn into the body. Think of what it's like to breathe when walking or cycling into a strong wind versus when you're just sitting still. It's much easier when you're still, but it's not because of the speed of the air, but how the speed changes the pressure. This leaves one unresolved question. I mentioned earlier that all members of the falcon family have this feature, including caracaras. But they act more like vultures. They don't dive for prey. They circle the skies at a leisurely pace, looking for carrion. Why then would they have this adaptation meant for high-speed dives? Does it serve a different purpose that we don't yet understand? Or is it like wisdom teeth in humans, something that was useful long ago but still remains in our biology? Nobody is quite sure. Lastly, the peregrine falcon's nasal cone inspired modern-day airplane engines. Early aircraft engines had problems when flying at higher speeds. Engineers solved the problem by adding a metallic cone in the center. Just like the peregrine's nasal cones, this slows down the air, increases the pressure, ensuring the engine will continue to function at high speeds. What kind of falcons are in your area? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.